Hi guys, Kevin here and welcome back to another video. I'm not sure if you caught the previous one where we talk about whether you should be buying GameStop. Now let me know in the comments below how many of you are actually in GameStop and how many of you are actually feeling that FOMO. Okay, and in today's video, we're going to talk about whether or when, okay, should you be actually selling GameStop if you're actually holding on to it or if you are thinking on whether you should be selling it. Uh, today video will address that question okay so first off over here what I want to show you is that um, GameStop as of yesterday closing the price was at $347.51 and the after hours of course uh, it went down by a close to 16% and the current price right now after hours is at $292 okay so definitely this stock here has been very volatile and uh, gathering a lot of interest in the market okay um, and whether of course you are actively trading right now uh, you should probably come across some news related to GameStop either through social media or even articles online okay and um, of course some of you are perhaps asking you know if if you're profiting from this right hats off to you that's good uh, maybe then you'll be asking yourself the question on when you should be selling Okay, and of course, some of you perhaps are on the sidelines and um, thinking whether this is an opportunity to short sell this stock. Okay, so over here, um, of course, there are some sources here. Um, and this video again, okay, um, quick disclaimer, is not going to be a financial advice. It's not going to be whether you should be buying or selling. It's really for entertainment purposes, right? And of course, uh, I'll put in a little bit of educational perspective uh, as a trader and investor. Okay, so first off here, um, I'm pretty sure you probably heard about this name here already, Wall Street Bets um, on Reddit. Okay, um, it's interesting because as of yesterday when I was doing a video, the subscribers count was about 2 million. Um, they doubled also very, very quickly, right? And as of today, right now, you can see we do have one 4.1 million right now. Okay, and um, honestly, this is really, really interesting. And perhaps this forum right now becomes a potential signal where if you do not know what penny stocks what stocks to look out for you know just hop onto it and see what people are buying and perhaps you know if you just follow through you'll be able to win okay um but joke aside okay um you know these things here are pretty risky if you're not aware about what trading investing is okay um while it's fun to be participating perhaps or even witnessing all this happening okay right now we do see kind of like two gangs right now right either you are with the retail which is the wall street bets people or you are with the big boys where you know you're bad because you have been short selling and you have been making money from in the expense of others okay so um again i'm not in any of this okay i'm just sharing with you a quick update on that and it's pretty interesting to watch Okay, and um, the question of when you should be selling GameStop, right? So there will be there there are some people posting about the price target of one thousand, and um, just recently uh, we also you might probably also see this uh, where Elon Elon Musk actually tweeted, you know, if GameStop reaches the target of one thousand, he's gonna print the logo on the rocket and he's gonna shoot it to the moon. All right, um, but I I was pretty intrigued and I did some research, okay, and what I realized was I couldn't really find that tweet okay, on the Elon Musk Twitter. Perhaps he removed it, I don't know. Okay, But um, then that led me to this web page here where it state that, um, you know, it's probably Photoshop. Okay, So again, a uh, mini lesson over here that you want to do your due diligence Okay, um, right now with all the different digital software and things like that. Um, altering something like this is not that difficult, right? So it is pretty convincing over here if you ask me. Okay, if GME reach hundred uh one thousand, okay, I'll put the logo and uh, on my next rocket and launch it into space. Oh my God. That's unreal. Right, um, yeah, but again, I, I couldn't find this tweet and um, this article here states that if it's, you know, retweeted for 2,000 plus times, um, 
and if you do a simple Google yet you can't find it, then perhaps this is not real. Okay, so we don't know, I don't know, okay, but I'm just sharing with you what this article is saying. Okay, and um, of course, the lesson behind here is that don't take anything on surface value. Okay, you want to do your own diligence to see if all this information that you read off online is actually accurate. All right, um, so the question again back is, are you going to be waiting all the way to 1000 or not um, if you ask me okay um, I'm not involved in this okay uh, I'm not I do not have any stock or shares on GameStop okay but if you are riding onto this I would strongly advise that you want to perhaps protect your trade okay um, and of course if you read the forum at Wall Street's bets uh, they'll be saying that don't put stop loss you know um, we are gonna hold all the way until 1000 um, but if of course today you are serious about this and you manage to write on this opportunity, do ensure you're protecting your capital at the same time. Uh, for those of you who are looking to sell this, okay, um, please don't, okay? I think um, if you're not involved in this stock, just stay out of it. But if you want some excitement like Shamaf, like Elon Musk, um, then play around with it, but make sure that you're prepared to lose that amount, okay? So make sure your risk management is in place. And of course, okay, um, to give you some idea as well as to what is potentially the next 10x stocks. I don't know, right now it seems like it's the popular thing floating around the internet, in the, in the Wall Street market, in the financial market here. Okay, um, it's over here, okay, um, likely because right now, right, just now I mentioned about how today I don't think it's really just about short selling anymore, but it's really the Wall Street bet people against the hedge fund managers right and um, it's really a little bit towards a cult and route environment i would say or even you know philosophical part where which gang do you believe in right and uh, i i kind of like saw this website over here called highshotinterest.com i perhaps drop the link in the description in this video as well okay where it helps to tell you kind of like consolidate which are the stocks that is the highest um shorting interest right and uh, based on the trend okay um perhaps you want to also look up for this for a potential next trade opportunity okay and uh, of course you can see here i think um perhaps you come across this two ticker symbol as well amc and bbby right uh and of course amc here is the company stands for amc entertainment holdings okay um there's another one if you're looking to get involved in this, again, make sure you get in on the right stickle, simple, got it on the right stops. Okay, but um, back to some serious note, uh, I think, okay, this whole kind of like hype, okay, um, it's not a sustainable way to really do trading and investing, okay. Um, yes, in the short term, you might make a lot of money, okay, but at the same time, uh, you want to be very, very cautious because, um, you know, you never know when this will just drop, okay? And uh, when it starts dropping, then uh, it's pretty much very difficult for you to protect yourself. You might lose a lot or even your entire portfolio or even, you know, all the broker some money if you're looking at options play, right? So on a serious note, okay, make sure you take care of yourself. Um, but at the same time, I'm releasing such video here, um, you know, to keep you guys updated. Uh, I think while we are in the financial market, um, you know, you want to have some entertainment and this is a very good um you know entertainment source uh, but at the same time i think there's some educational value which i would like to share off over here uh, and that's why i you know recorded all this video uh, for you guys so with that okay um let me know in the comments below what are some of the other penny stocks perhaps you're looking to you know buy in and um wash out the short sellers um, but of course, right, I wouldn't want to turn my channel into um, something like this, okay? Um, again, these are just all for entertainment. At the same time, you know, just to keep you guys updated as what's well happening in the financial market and to share with you guys a little bit in terms of the educational perspective of what you should be doing, okay, uh, if you want to take trading investing seriously.